Lay down the power of Protoss. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Up here in the top left. From Alloy Esports. The purple Protoss, he is the donut. <laughs> and up here, trying to throw her opponent off. The Red Terran from Infinity, she is my darling. Let's see exactly what happens here, whether Donut will go for any kind of proxy Stargate. Like we saw in game number one of these last of the last match these two played. No extended series rules here today. It's all straight up best of fives, no crazy shenanigans. Barracks coming down, no gas yet. Darling now just getting that. Donut getting his as well. Hopefully we'll see some nukes and other fun stuff. Reminded everybody, please vote for who you think will win today. A lot of money on the line. We want to know who the fan favorite is to take home the title. Hooliganistic spam up already falling out. That just leaves the three at the top there. And no expansion yet from Darling. It's pretty delayed. Going to go for a factory behind this. Well, Cyber Knight's core goes down. What scouting information does Darling actually have about Donut? Zero whatsoever for all, he know for all she knows. He's going for a proxy s Stargate. Or some other crazy Protoss Solomon. Donut going to expand as soon as he gets the minerals for it. Darling having absolutely no, no intentions of expanding. Going for a 1-1-1 one, one, one here. Barracks storing a reactor down. A couple of widow mines going to pop out soon. Going to hang back. Wait for any kind of proxy. No proxy Stargate coming. So that widow mine doesn't need to really hang back and hang 10. Big Kona style. I want to go to the beach. <laughs> that was a very that was a very straightforward path of path of thinking. Uh, Stalker gonna come up here and see that there's no expansion. Gonna get uh, pot shotted quite a bit by a couple of Marines. And now Donut knows something's up. And in fact, double Tech Lab, Tech Lab, and Banshee and. Oh, this is going to be an interesting all-in right here. Well, the ship core does have photon overcharge, though, and photon overcharge. It's a good unit. <laughs> Power of rage. Uh, that would have been better if you didn't have the, the break. Power of rage. Banshee on the way. No cloak. Uh, Forge and Robo coming down as well. I'm, I'll, I gotta say, Donut's doing a lot of tech. He's really relying on the power of Photon Overcharge quite a lot here. And Darling is going. 
And you know what? This stalker can actually kite these marines all day long. If it's not careful. Tank actually going to go ahead of everything. Tanks with a 1.04 9mm cannon, 25 damage per. Now the Banshee can actually come over here and do some damage. No cloak on it though. But it does force the majority of the units away. Unfortunately, the Mothership Corps is not buying the bait. And with the Photon Overcharge and that small of an army, it's going to be pretty tricky to move up that ramp. An Immortal is out as well. Banshee really good against an Immortal. DPS is outstanding, plus every single attack is technically two attacks. Uh, and it looks like an elevator play here. This could be big. And it looks like, yeah. Donut not wise to this yet. Robo Bay isn't done yet. And I'm going to lift up every single one of these Marines, or almost every single one of these Marines. And go for it. And here we go. Tank doesn't siege up just yet. Mothership Corps. Mothership Corps could get zoned out here by the Marines, but here's the problem. The Photon Overcharge actually won't reach to all those units. So it's a bit problematic. A couple more units coming in here that Banshee really needs. Banshee needs to focus fire down the Immortals. Uh, and the Mothership Corps actually going to get taken out here. Is there enough here? There's one more tank and the Banshee is still on the field. Immortal goes down. Sentry goes down. Darling trying to make this work. Has an expand behind this. Almost up and running. The worker count is pretty low though for her. Going to try and get a bunker up. Uh, and this actually, if she can kill off all of the stalkers, actually the Banshee could run rough shot. And actually going to take out the Immortal. Bunker is still being made. Colossi now on the way. This is still a really close kind of game. Uh, Bunker gets killed off here, but at what cost? Darling could commit here and would probably actually win. Uh, and actually the Bunker, actually a tank on Miss Rally here. That could be a bit of an awkward position here. Going to actually try and take out the Robo. Uh, take out the Robo and the Robo Bay. If he gets the Robo, if she gets the Robo before the Colossi comes out, she's going to get the Robo. No Colossi. That could be bad. A lot of probes get pulled over here, and probes are going to start going down. And if she takes out the Stalker, there's no anti-air here. The Banshee would actually technically kill off everything else. Ah, uh, no Marines in the bunker, even though the bunker finally gets done. And the probe count is pretty even. Stalker's being warped in two at a time. And without the Banshee, ah, oh, losing another Banshee for free in such a game like this. That's actually pretty dangerous. But meanwhile, down here, near the natural ramp, a couple of marines and a tank doing work, and four stalkers are not going to be enough to handle that. Darling really putting the screws to Donut here. And looks like a couple of uh, stalkers. And oh, the target firing, actually target firing down that Nexus. And that actually might be a bad thing. Uh, it's not enough here for Darling. She needs a little more, needs to regroup her forces. Get that marine, get that medevac back. Donut holding firm right now, though he's down in workers. Didn't lose the Robo Bay though, but he doesn't really have enough for Colossi. And Darling really taking a really big edge in this game. But you know what? Donut has fallen back on Colossi when he was down in these last couple of games. Oh, uh, but that is a pretty, pretty big attack right here. Gotta be careful, no Mothership course and no Photon Overcharge. Observer waiting to see what it can. And actually a bit of an off call here as the double drop comes in here. Two Stalkers get warped in, but is it enough? What am I in Burrows? Needs to pull back and let that hit. Yes it does, takes out a Zealot and really weakens out two more. Darling trying to get what she can. Any more edges, but I think she may be a little bit over aggressive right now. Got two fully saturated bases. Going to double up on the bunkers just to make sure she's okay and safe. First Colossi is out. Pro down in probes. 
38 to 32 as far as that goes. Second starport on the way. We should see Viking production start to kick in very soon. And with the bunkers, the Colossi is going to be the pretty much the only major problem. A couple of units stuck in that medevac need to get unloaded immediately. And they do. Darling going to bunker up. With two Vikings, uh, one Colossi is really not going to cut it. In fact, uh, one Colossi might not cut it here. Thermal Lance is a ways away, and actually when Thermal Lance finishes, there will be plenty of Vikings out. So Donut in kind of a catch-22 here. He's down in army, down in workers. Protoss normally down in army, unless they're very far ahead. This is a scary little push. It's four gateways worth of production. There is a missile turret though, so an observer could get sniped. An observer can't really go over and check everything. Second, oh, second Colossi on its way. To try and get what it can. A uh, bit of a miscue there. Uh, one Marauder. Medivac is healing everything up. Need to keep the Vikings in great position here. Going to try and drop as a counter. It's a good move here. The Vikings need to. Vikings need to go and do some work here. Marauders tanking for the Vikings, trying to keep the Stalkers at bay. This is pretty much it. The big engagement. The Vikings taking down the Colossi really quick, but there's so many Zealots, but there's still a bunker back up at home. In the natural of Darling, and that can actually tank these Zealots all day long. The Vikings actually trying to fly by. Meanwhile, the drop over here at the main of Donut. Not killing off anything, killing off a couple of gateways. But every unit that gets warped in back at home is one that isn't being warped in. Over here, the Observer went home. Uh, a medevac gets taken out. Thankfully, no units in it. Darling not microing the drop completely. Wants to take out that Robo Bay and make sure any no more Colossi actually come out. That actually might work. Going to take out the Robo yet again. Three Stalkers against Stim Marines with a Medivac. Not the best army composition there, right there. Uh, Going to try and take out the Robo Bay as well. Robo Bay taken out means that the next push from Darling will be just so that much more massive. Meanwhile, coming across the map is that huge push that we were talking about. And it, oh, the Medivac gets taken out. Here lies the problem though with no Robo. Robo just now being remade. That means there's going to be no Colossi in this next push to help defend and the photon overcharge was used there's no more photon overcharge century a couple of centuries coming out here but with this many medevacs and a lot of vikings the mothership core could get sniped and that means that all those centuries are going to be able to do is buy time and eventually donut will run out of gas quite literally gonna go for a twilight council making another robo and actually another robo behind that two more three more gateways darling going to try and take the gold base behind this and a triple drop now. A couple of Vikings to back it up. This could be big. And here we go. The the boost in. The army is out of position. Going to take out some gateways really quickly. There are no Colossi with this army. So the Vikings really not that useful. But if they land, that could be huge. They also draw some fire away from the Stalkers. The Stalkers might actually misfire, miss AI on that. And you know what? This Terran army, it's really scary. GG! Game number one goes to Darling.